Welcome on the second workshop in the series where we talk about a theme and how to work with it. Today we'll speak about a file structure in the Scandi PWA. So let's begin with opening up the project because where else should we look for the file structure? So our opened my project itself but we won't talk about magento files we'll talk about a theme files so a theme could be found in app in src app design frontend scan web pwa so this is where our theme is located and let's open it up with the editor so it will be easier to uh, play around in so as you might have seen i already have two folders here the source and PWA. Let me remove this folder for now and we will talk about how to add it and why it is needed later on. So we opened our PWA folder and inside we found multiple folders. VS Code, ETC, translation folder, Magento theme, media, node modules and SRC and some miscellaneous files. Well, most important here are the SRC folder and Magento theme. Well, why? So the reason is that the SRC is basically a folder where the app assets of your applications are contained. And the Magento theme is a folder where the assets get compiled when you run the npm run build command. So uh, the Magento theme is the same as in other Magento themes. It's just a folder inside of the app design vendor name so we have the same and there inside we have the compiled version of Scandi PWA. So all the chunks, bundles and whatever. Yeah. And uh, inside of the SRC here inside of the source folder, we have nothing. And we might even have no application folder there. Uh, we created that in the previous uh, sessions, but uh, here nothing is inside. So what should we do? We have no source files except some configurations and uh, public folders. Seems strange. Yes, of course it is, because Scandi PWA works by extending, by overriding, just like Magento does. If you create file with the same file name and under the same folder structure, it will be preferenced over the original file. But where is the original file? would you ask? Well, it's located in vendor, just like the Magento themes when you extend them. Let's open this uh, vendor theme up. So let's add folder to workspace and let's go back to source of Magento and scroll to the vendor and here look for scan PWA. Here it is and open the source package. Well, inside of the source package, you will notice you have the same file structure, but the SRC folder will now be full. So what it means is that you are always falling back, fall backing to the source folder from PWA folder. So uh, this means that to extend or to change something in your theme, you need to place the file under the same name. But how you know which file to change and where to look? Well, here comes the rules of Scandi PWA file organization. You can file those rules in our docs. So if you go to docs.scandipwa.com and open a theme, then go to projects, I believe, uh, and exactly here you will find the file structure where we declare the file structure of a core theme and then about the React, so how the files are laid out here. The application root, then the index entry points, utility folder, route folder, component folder, types, stores, everything. So let's go through them uh, a little bit and uh, write it on the board so it will be easier to understand. Well, uh, as you can see here first, you can notice that uh, the file structure is very flat. The file structure is very flat. Well, what it means is that uh, we have only following types available. So types, uh, types of JavaScript code, we would say. We refer to them as the components, which are the presentation related 
parts of the application so they will be placed under the component folder we have the route and the route is a folder where all the uh, routing related things are located like product pages like the router itself and more we also have the utility functions so this is a utility utils i suppose it's called and in oh sorry it's util simply and in the util folder you will be able to find the uh helpers for scan to pwa and inside of those helpers you might find helpers for working with url with uh, requests and more uh, additionally we have the query here and the query contains all the graphql queries and uh, in the very simple class-based format we also have the uh, route itself. So there is a route. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry, the route was already is there. The style is here as well. The style contains the base styles of the application. Note that there are styles as well here. So the component might have its styles on its own, but the uh, main base styles are also located here. And we will talk about uh, extending them a little bit later. We also have types here, and the types are just a prop type declaration for the same component. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Except one thing, we have a store. And the store is a global state declarations and Redux related logic, but we will uh, skip this for now. So, uh, what's important here is that the file structure is very flat. Inside, you won't find uh, two folders. You will only find one folder depth inside. So, inside all of them, there will be either a file right away. So, it will be file.postfix.js. And this postfix, let's talk about this later. And or there will be a folder name folder and inside of this folder you will have the same file dot postfix dot js we'll talk about postfixes now well what are those postfixes because uh there are multiple files here and all of them can have different purposes we must somehow distinguish those purposes because the con component might have the component itself, the container, some styles, and uh, we don't want them to mix together. We want them to stay co as consistent as possible. So we introduced following postfixes. The dot component postfix component, the dot container dot js, the dot style dot scss the dot query dot js the dot uh, type dot js and i assume one more um maybe yes the dot config dot js and i believe that's it maybe more but you got the idea so the same the the role which uh, the uh, script is doing is mentioned in his postfix so if you want to find a file you must search it um you, if you will ser be searching by file name you will notice that the uh, results will contain the postfixes so let's try it out if we will try searching for example the breadcrumbs let's search breadcrumbs you can see that it has action, which we forgot, reducer, dispatcher, style, component, and container. Well, action, reducer, dispatcher is the Redux stuff. But what about the style, component, and container? Well, those are following. And if we can see, those are located under component, and those are located under the store in the folder called breadcrumbs. So, this folder name could be shared between those folders. So this can have folder name breadcrumbs and this can have folder name breadcrumbs inside. But uh, it won't have a similar files with a similar postfix. So uh, imagine you want to 
go and change the styles. If you search for it, you can immediately see the style here because it has a postfix and nothing is needed to be done additionally. You always search by the file name. Uh, by the file name, and this is the preferred way of searching. Okay, cool. We have this amazing uh, structure where we have postfixes, where we have uh, name postfix notations, where we have a very flat structure with only one folder inside. But what you should keep in mind, you should keep in mind that you shouldn't introduce folders inside of the folders. Like breadcrumbs shouldn't contain anything inside. The structure must stay as flat as it possibly can get. Don't introduce additional postfix notations if you don't uh, explain it to the whole team. Those should uh, be uh, those should be uh, as consistent as possible. Uh, finally, a thing you can notice is we have a lot of index.js's around the project. Let's uh, get back to our board to explain why they are here. Well, here you need an index.js because most commonly you don't want to reference the component or container specifically. You are in or style you're from outside, you're interested in the component itself, in the whole logic, in the combination of containers, components and styles. So what should you do is you should, uh, you should add the index.js in your folder name and there you should export the specific, so this is just export alias and it will export the component or container. Take a look. Uh, the index.js just has the export uh, from the container. You can see that it exports the default declaration from the container, which means that the container is an entry point to add to cart. But overall, uh, you can also import the add to cart specifically con components or container or specifically the style. And that's a cool thing about those indexes. So if we, for example, let's take a look uh, where we are using add to cart. If we'll take a look on it, you might have see that we are importing it uh, add to cart, add to cart, uh, here it is. We are importing it from a folder, not from the specific file with postfix notation. So postfix notation are for file searching, for extensions, but not for imports. So when you are importing, please do it like this. I'm sorry, I forgot to switch, but here is how you do it uh, when you import it. So I'm um, when adding to cart, you are importing it from a folder and the index.js now plays the role here. What well, you can see that it adds the index uh, here, yeah? But, um, but you can also import the container component or style uh, if you wish, but then you would need to write, uh, sorry, you need to add here slash add to cart container. But you can also use this if you just want to use the whole logic of it, not specifically something, one specific thing. Cool. That pretty much covers the file structure organization in Scandi PWA. So, uh, this is what you need to keep in mind. I will showcase you this once again. The flat folder structure, the postfix notations, and the idea of uh, very strict and limited amount of names and folders. And if you will do it, you will be able to efficiently navigate and integrate into the Scandi PWA ecosystem. Thanks for watching and see you in the next series of this workshop.